I think I just created the best AI SaaS website on Go High Level, but I'll let you judge for yourself. So go ahead level launch their AI features, their AI employee. And I think it's going to be a crazy opportunity for us agency owners in 2025. And so for me, as someone who's been running my own go ahead level agency for over a year now, I know that the go ahead level website templates suck. And so how are we supposed to sell AI solutions to businesses when our websites look shitty like this one? So this is supposed to be the software template for businesses like this just sucks with the fake graphics, all this stuff. Here's the marketing agency template. This is just terrible. So how are you supposed to portray yourself when you're going after businesses? you're trying to show them that you're a real software that you're legit when our competition like these are the type of software companies out there like their websites look really clean aesthetic like nothing like a go ahead level website template and so that's the reason why i built this website in go ahead level that's what i wanted to accomplish i wanted to build a website that was clean aesthetic that looked futuristic easy to consume and most of all that looked like a real software not some fake template like the go ahead level websites and by the way if you like the website and you don't want to build it yourself just click the first link in bio you can just get it skip all the work all that stuff but if you want to build it yourself, let me just show you some of the sections, how we built this in Go Ahead Level. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how we built is the hero section. This is where people land. This is your first impression. This is the first thing that people are going to see. So as you notice, we have this cool like rotating vanishing text. That's something that we did using code. You can't see what's going on, but using code in the back end, we can animate it. So it looks like all these like really professional software companies. Now, the next thing we did is added like a quick photo, a couple buttons down here and a graphic that I created from scratch in Photoshop. And one of the things that we did purposely is not showing the entire graphic. As you can see, it's kind of peeking through. So what that's going to do is make somebody more likely to scroll because they want to find out what's below that, what's the rest of the photo. And so it's going to unveil the next section. It's a very subtle touch, but you notice a lot of software companies do this. So that engages people to check out the entire website. You'll see like for this software, like they've done something similar to us. So they have the headline, the sub headline, the text, of course, but you'll see that the graphic is peeking through and you can barely see it. So it makes you want to scroll so you can see the rest of the graphic and it engages you to keep Keep consuming the website which is what we've done as well now the second section that i wanted to show you is pricing this is how people sign up and so it's really important we wanted to make it very clean aesthetic kind of minimal but we also wanted to include a monthly versus annual plan we noticed that a lot of big software companies give you like a slight discount if you sign up to the annual plan and so we wanted to do the same thing where you have dynamic pricing so you'll notice if i switch from annual to monthly the price changes from 297 a month for the starter as opposed to 247 a month if you pay the full year up front now, normally you can't do this inside of go ahead level. So what we had to do is use a bit of code to make it work. And so we can toggle from monthly to annual and the price changes dynamically. The rest of the pricing is pretty simple. So it's two rows side by side. We added this cool effect. You might not see it as much. It's very subtle, but we have sub headlines, text, a bit of padding in between like a divider, what's included, like the features with a quick check mark as the icon. And then we just clone these. So we have all the features back to back. Super simple, very clean. And that's kind of what we had in mind when we're building this website with the light mode and those subtle gradients which is just the background so that's how we built the pricing now if i scroll down a bit more i wanted to have a section about the problem i wanted to outline what are the main problems that a local business owner might face and how can this software help them and so i wanted to showcase the problem with this really cool graphic that i also created from scratch it has this really like subtle animation that again we added with code so if you hover over you'll notice that it races a bit so the main key here is even though it's like a super simple layout i'll show you in go ahead level it's just two rows side by side we have a bit of text we have a headline we have a sub headline some text down here and you'll notice that it has like a full border so that we have that cool outline around it and then we have the graphic but why it looks clean is because we have awesome graphic design and how we built this is in photoshop you'll notice that there's a bunch of different layers so i can just show you like what happens if i toggle some of these off you can kind of see that there's multiple layers and that's the key a lot of times is building good graphics from scratch as opposed to using those fake stock graphics that you can find online or in the go ahead level website templates like this looks super clean it looks like it's an actual software company compared to something like this which once i look at it i just think it's a fake website i won't trust it so if i'm looking to buy software i would much rather buy from a website that looks like this that looks legit even though it takes a bit more time to build your own graphics it's gonna make 
a huge difference. Now, the next session I wanted to show you is the features page. This is really important because this is the six features that GoHead Level dropped. So let me just show you one by one. So we have Conversations AI, we have Funnels AI, we have Reviews AI, Voice AI, Workflows AI, and finally Content AI. Now, what this looks like in GoHead Level is actually pretty simple. So we have two columns side by side, and there's a bit of padding in between because we want to create that little space in between so it doesn't look too cramped. And the next thing is just two subheadlines, a paragraph, and then my own graphic that I created in Photoshop from scratch. And I think the graphic is one of the reasons why it looks so clean, yet it's so minimal at the same time. Now, if I show you one of my other graphics, you'll notice that there's tons of layers and so we created these from scratch and that's why it looks so clean and so we just created one by one all of them in photoshop and then we just finally removed the background exported them added them to that section okay and the last section i wanted to show you is this bento style section that like kind of other features at a glance so not just the ai but some of the other software features that go ahead level has and i know a lot of local business owners use the invoices features the notifications like the crm a lot of them use the calendar to book the appointments that kind of stuff so i wanted to have a section where you can just take a look see other features that go ahead level also offers on top of the AI, the software features. So what this looks like in GoHead Level is just one first column where we have the text, the main heading, and then we have the bento style here. So what this is, is just three columns side by side. There's a tiny bit of padding in between each one just so it has that like separation. And then we clone this. And if you'll notice, you can just clone this and have three of them side by side. You could have four of them side by side, but again, it's going to look quite small. And so you can just play around with these. You could also change the size as well just by dragging this and changing, like say you wanted to emphasize one feature over the other one and not have it like perfectly symmetrical you could just play around with it and change the size but for us we wanted to keep it symmetrical so i kept it in the middle now inside the bento we just have like rounded edges so if you go to advanced you'll notice we have a full border and the radius is 25 that's how you create those round edges in the bento section and then we have a sub headline some text and then of course our own graphics that's it and it just makes the website easy to consume you see all the features and you can quickly take a look at them and this is something that's super standard across different software companies so we know it's like a lot of software companies are doing like bento style sections so you notice like here's another way so you can do it you have some text some graphics it doesn't have to be symmetrical we have two things side by side but one of them is much bigger than the other ones so there's other ways to do it but having a mentor is just an awesome way to show your features very quickly so that's how we built this ai SaaS website inside of go hello that i think looks awesome now if you want to save yourself the trouble of building this whole website from scratch it took us like over four weeks to build this website you know the features the coding the animations the photoshop the layout the design all that stuff then you can just get it from our store in the first link in bio this is a website that we will charge over five thousand dollars to build but you can just get it for just a fraction of the price in the first link in bio